Hello and welcome to part three on your growth with God. Today I want to talk about now that I'm a believer, now what? What do I do? And also, what is a believer or am I a Christian? Now I want to say something. It's very important to know that the word Christian was 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 started by a group of people who saw people following Jesus. They said, oh, you guys are Christians. But notice, God never said that. People said that. So I know um, in Japan that, or in other countries, when we hear the word Christian, we're thinking, okay, another religion. But you have to remember that God never intended to create another religion. All God wanted was a family. He just wanted sons and daughters. He just wanted his children back. He just wanted the human beings to come back from sin. He just wanted to get them back so they can go spread his love throughout the world. But, you know, us human beings, we always want to put labels and titles on things. So we say, okay, well, since you believe in that, then you're, you're this, and you believe in that, then you're a Christian, and you believe in that, then you're this. So, but you got to remember, though people may think, oh, well, you're a religion, you're a religious person, don't worry about what people think. Because the truth is that God is love, and God wants to just share his love to the world. That's all God wants to do. And so the truth is, yes, you are a Christian. You are a follower of Christ. You are a believer. So don't get too caught up in the, the titles because you don't want to be confused or you don't want to, you know, get yourself confused. But just know that, yes, you're a believer. You're a believer in God. You're a Christian. Christian simply means follower of Christ. But God didn't invent the word. So, it you know, just for the sake of people, since everybody knows that people that follow Jesus is called a Christian or people that believe in God is called a Christian. So just let, let people say that. But just you know in your heart that, okay, God never intended to make a religion, but he intended to make a relationship with me. So now that you're a believer, now that you're a Christian, what should you do? Well, what you should do is connect. So now that you're a believer, you, you should try your best to connect with many other believers like yourself. So here at Japan Kingdom Builders, we are planning to have our fellowships. We plan our fellowships a lot. So we have a lot of fellowships where we come together, we sing together, we eat together, and we grow in God together. So why is that important? It's important because you, it's for your growth. So if you're, for example, let me just use this example. If you're a, a smoker, for example... Smokers go to the smoking section, right? Because you're a smoker, there's an area for the smokers. If you're if 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 you're a drinker, there's an area for drinking. You know, but now that you're a believer, now that you're a Christian, there's a place where you can go. There's a place that God has set for you with people that will encourage you, with people that will build you up, with people that will that will help you grow in your faith with God. Okay, so that's why it's important to fellowship. And so we're going to have a lot of these fellowships and I would love for you to be there because I would just love for us to grow together, for us to know God more, to experience God more and to share God more. So I'm going to just go back to my points. Again, God never intended to make a religion. And Christianity, the word Christian came from people, not God. But since the world is used to it, yes, you, we are Christians because we follow God. That's what it means. We just follow in Jesus. And also that, yes, it's important for us to fellowship with each other. Now that you're a believer, now that you're a Christian, it's important for you to fellowship with like-minded people so that you can be encouraged and you can grow. So I just want to pray for you as you are growing in your faith with God. God, I thank you for the viewers that are watching right now. God, I thank you, God, that you have created them Lord, and that you have made them and that you have made them so that you could express your love through their life. So I thank you, God, that as they are listening to this video, that their mind and their spirit is being encouraged and that their, their mind is receiving new knowledge and new understanding. I thank you for understanding and understanding heart. Lord, I thank you, God, that there's no confusion that will come into their mind, but Lord, that you would just give them understanding. I thank you, God, that they don't have to be afraid of people's opinions. They don't have to be afraid of what other people think because you was not afraid of what everybody else thought when you chose us, even though we were not perfect, but you chose us 
You didn't care about everybody else. Mawari ni mawari no hito kini shinakatta. You didn't you didn't care about them. So you just focused on us. So that's what we're gonna do with you, God. We're gonna focus on you. And I thank you for those watching, Lord God, that you will give them a heart and desire to fellowship with other believers. Lord, I thank you, God, that you will lead them and that you will guide them and that you will strengthen them and that you will encourage them. This is their time. This is the amazing time of their life. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. See you soon.